Video is a great way to build an engaged audience and to make sales with affiliate marketing, but frankly, it's a bit daunting for people who are just beginning, who've never shot a video before. So I'm gonna give you seven simple steps so that you can start shooting video. Hey, it's Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and I'm gonna help you get started with video marketing so that you can start making sales. Yes, you need to create content to make sales for your online business and video builds the required know, like, and trust factor the fastest with your audience. So they are primed to make a purchase when you put an offer in front of them. That is one of the reasons we love video. So let's give you the confidence and the steps to start creating your videos today. Step number one, you simply need to know exactly what you want your audience to do after they watch their video. This is called a CTA or a call to action. What next step do you want them to take after watching the video? Is it to watch another video? Is it to opt in to get your free giveaway, whatever that is? Is it to check out an opportunity? Is it to go to a sales page? Whatever it is, you have to start out knowing exactly what it will be before you do anything else related to the video. Number two is to list out a bunch of different ideas, brainstorm for a while on different content ideas that could serve your audience, whoever your audience is, and get them to take the next step. So if you wanna promote a software, maybe one of your ideas is to do a software tutorial, and then at the end of it, you're inviting them to go to the sales page to learn more about that software and perhaps purchase. Now step number three is simple. Based on all the brainstorming that you did, on the different types of content you could create that would lead to your call to action, your CTA, simply decide which video you're gonna do right now. Keep the other ones for later, file that away, and have it handy so you can take notes as ideas pop up throughout your day. Now, there are some really easy ways to actually start shooting video, things that can kinda of ease you into the process. One way to do it, guys, when you first get started is just to do a PowerPoint. Most of us can figure out how to put a PowerPoint slide together. If you can't, I'm sure you can Google that, but it's simple. You can put your ideas, what you wanna talk about, onto a PowerPoint. PowerPoint and then just do a video of your screen so you're not even in the picture. This is a really great way to ease into doing video. You could even just do a screen share. So if you're talking about a specific software program or you're teaching some tricks within Microsoft Excel or whatever, you can just share your screen. You can do a video that just shares your screen and shows them what's going on and you don't have to put your face behind the camera when you first begin. Now when you're doing this, you can actually have a little notepad next to you with an outline or your script or whatever just sitting there with at your desk and no one can see you looking down at the script or going back and forth because you're not on camera. It also makes it much easier to edit out any pauses or things you need to edit because your, your face isn't in it. It makes it nice and easy. Now the next phase, you can start without any video of your face. The next phase then would be to start adding video with your picture in it. Now there's some great software, we love Camtasia, where it can actually show your, your camera, your webcam, while you're sharing your screen. So you can do that with PowerPoints again or with just sharing your screen and doing different software programs. But showing your face is awesome. Now you're like taking a baby step towards shooting a video like this where it's just you and the camera. But those baby steps are important. When people can see your face, you're starting to build more know, like, and trust factor with your audience, which is important. Now when you're doing this sort of video, you're gonna be on your webcam and you're going to be sharing part of your screen or all of your screen. Well, if you wanna use an outline or a script, just take your screen and don't show your entire screen, only show one program or only share a part of your screen and then have your script up on the other side. Now, once you're ready, you can do videos of just you talking. So those are kind of your baby steps, your training wheels to get up to it. And then it's just like this, talking. And you don't have to have fancy setup or a backdrop or lights or all kinds of crazy stuff. Just make sure the lighting's decent, they can see your face, they can hear you, and you can really start with just taking videos on your phones. The new cell phones have great cameras. So if you've got a newer cell phone, don't worry about buying something fancy, just start with that. Now step number four, you upload your video to YouTube, but keep it private until you're ready to publish. And if you don't yet have a YouTube channel, there's lots of videos and things you can search Google, YouTube, that'll teach you how to set it up. It's really quite simple, won't take you much time. Now step number five is to give your video a title that makes people want to watch it. Don't necessarily focus on what it is, focus more on the benefit of what they're gonna get from it. Having a great title is important to getting people to actually want to watch your video. Now step number six is just as important. It's creating a thumbnail that makes people want to watch your videos. Something that's enticing, that stands out, 
and it's giving them a reason to watch. Not necessarily what it is, more of what it does. And if you're going to use words on your thumbnail, they don't have to match your title specifically. They don't have to be the exact same words. They should complement it. So don't get stuck thinking that it has to be exactly the same. It should have similar meaning, but use different words because you, one might be more catchy to some people. The other one might be more catchy to other people. Here's some quick examples of some recent thumbnails that I created. I use Canva, canva.com to create our thumbnails. It works really well. We did a video on Canva. You can go in there and actually look at how to use Canva, but it's a great tool for making thumbnails that pop. Number seven, now you're finally ready to publish your video. So go ahead, switch it over to publish and then you can distribute it out on social media so wherever you have an audience whether that's Facebook Instagram Twitter whatever let them know about your video provide a link whenever possible if you have an email list which you should all be building then you should let your email list know that you've got new content out and share it with them now yes there's a bunch of additional things that you can do within YouTube to get more people to see your videos but when you're first starting out when you're right at the beginning it's more important just to take action and to get your videos up and work towards having a consistent publishing schedule. Then as you progress, you get better at videos. You can learn more about YouTube SEO and how to get your videos suggested by YouTube. Now you do want to create content consistently. That's really important in getting your stuff in front of people and telling YouTube you're serious and that they should let people know about your content. So next step, click the video on the upper right corner of your screen as this video comes to an end to learn how to create a schedule for creating and publishing your videos now if you really want to excel at affiliate marketing make sure to check out our recommended affiliate marketing training it's gonna be the top link in the description of this video if you're on mobile you got to drop a little drop down to see the description first if you're on desktop it should be right there but just click the link in that description and you can check out our recommended affiliate training again this is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com know that we are rooting for you we are here to help you create the time freedom that you and your family deserve if you're new to our channel make sure to say hi in the comments so that we can welcome you to the community I'll see you soon